Hello, this is Daniel from Germany and today I'm gonna show you how to install Android 4 um, in VMware Workstation 8. Um, yeah, all you need is VMware Workstation 8 and the Android 4 image um, for the others EPC. Um, you can download it at code.google.com where you can find the link in my video description. So let's begin. Um, yeah, create a new virtual machine and uh, select the typical configuration in the virtual machine wizard. Um, yeah, here you have to select the Android image you have downloaded before. Um, VMware Workstation automatically detects the operating system type. And, yeah, click on Next. Uh, now you should enter a name for your virtual machine. I will call it Android for uh, test. So uh, here you see the location where your virtual machine is stored. So uh, click on next. Uh, here you have the to set the disk size uh, of your virtual machine. Um, later I will create a yeah, virtual SD card. So I think five gigabyte are enough. Um, yeah. And when you click on next, you see the summary of your settings. Um, I want to customize the hardware a little bit, so um, I set the memory on 512 megabyte, and uh, the network connections should be set to bridged, um, so the virtual machine is directly connected to the network of your laptop or computer. So um, uh, that's okay for me. I'll click on close and finish. And now the virtual machine is starting. Here you have to um, select the Android 4 installation. Yeah, at first um, you have to create a new partition. Um, primary partition 5 gigabyte and bootable um, then you have to write the partition table to the disk um, type in yes yes so um, quit this and here yeah, you have to select the Partition. So we need a file system ext3 um, and format the partition. So yeah, we want to install the bootloader and read write on the system directory. Yes. <coughs> So now Android 4 is installing. This needs only uh, some seconds now. So now Android 4 is installed successfully. Um, now we want to create a fake SD card. Here. 2 GB are enough, it's the maximum. Um, yes. If you have a bigger um, disk size of a virtual machine, you can create a bigger SD cards. So the SD card is created, so reboot the virtual machine. This is the bootloader and now Android 4 is starting. <coughs>
Now at the welcome screen you have to select your language and after that you have to set date and time. Yeah, I finished installing. So here you should set the date and the time, but uh, it's okay, so click on next. Um, yeah, at this point uh, you have no internet connection, so you can't sign in with your Google account, so um, skip this step. Yeah, Google wants my location. Um, yeah, this phone belongs to, uh, here you can type in your name. My name is test, test, so click on next, yeah, good, uh, this is blah. so uh, setup is complete, your phone is set up and ready to use, yeah, so click on finish. So um, now you see your home screen. Um, yeah, so um, open the browser, okay, and type in home, and you see you don't have any internet connection. Um, so uh, you have to shut down the virtual machine. And go to the location where it is stored and open the VMX file with the editor. So, um, here you see the uh, network adapter type. Um, it's an Intel E1000, but you have to change it to VLANs. And yeah, save the uh, changes. So go back to VMware Workstation and start your virtual machine again. So um, open the browser again and you have still no internet connection. So um, now you have to start the terminal emulator and you have to perform the following steps. So at first type in su root get the full root permissions. Um, yeah, you have to allow it. So now you have to type in vi mm, slash etc slash init .sh. Yeah, This is to um, edit the init shell file um, with the vi editor. So enter um, then um, press I to write something into this file um, yeah you have to add these commands um, net cfg config ethernet zero up Set prop net dot dn. 
This 8.8.8.8 is the Google DNS server. So we'll now press escape and um, then the double dot W, Q, and the exclamation mark to save the file and exit the VI editor. So now type exit, um, exit. So now you have to restart your virtual machine. And now at the start up, um, the net config commands are executed by the system. So start your browser and you see you can surf in the internet. So there is one little thing. Um, I did not found a way uh, to get the sound card working. So uh, if you watch some videos in YouTube, um, you can not hear anything yeah um that's it have fun and bye bye